Please subscribe for the short intro. Previously on day 300, I jumped off the edge of the world to end off the video. And you're probably wondering why did I jump off the edge and did I lose all my stuff? The answer is yes, I did jump off and yes, I did lose all of my stuff. Psych, that's the wrong. Yeah, I'm not even gonna finish off that meme. I tried saying that like six times and I sound so stupid. But yeah, I just threw an ender pearl and pretended to jump off and die. I know I tricked some of you guys. But anyways, on day 301, I looked at my girlfriend and made fun of her. And I also said hi to my girlfriend's sister. And I punched her a little too many times and this happened. No, I killed my girlfriend's sister. Let's get some rip monkey in the comments, guys. And I also realized this was my only chance to throw her away. But but I decided not to throw her off the edge and I decided to make a memorial for her because she meant a lot for this entire one block series. So I made a little box, I put her meat on some idol frames and this is her beautiful graveyard where she will rest forever. Psych, I made a trash can for her and I filled it with a whole bunch of dirt and some leaves where she belongs in the trash can. I'm just kidding guys, I love her and I know she loves me too. But since I killed her and I put her in a trash can, she probably hates me. But anyways, I said hello to my polar bears and and they looked pretty happy to be together. I said what's up to my dog and I think I'm gonna name him a cookie dog because that was the most requested name. I've had a lot of names like chocolate chip or brownies or crisps or crumbles but a cookie dog was the most requested. So thank you guys everybody for commenting down below on day 300. Now we gotta name our polar bears. So drop some names for two of our polar bears. Best comment gets the name. I then checked up on George and I think he was having some troubles. He looked uh, a little bit glitched. He was not moving and he was staring off into like the sunset. I tried punching the glass to wake him up and it didn't work. So he probably just missed his latest software update or something. So I think his game was frozen. But anyways, I said hi to my mobs because you can't just leave them alone and forget about them. So my trusty netherite sword said hello to them. It also said bye too, I guess, because I killed them. <laughs> Not funny? Okay. And these baby zombies are so annoying, man. It's always the short ones with the attitude. But I spent the rest of the night making my cows make some love. Because I'm a hungry man, I weigh 600 pounds, and I need their meat to eat. So I took all their meat, and I smelted it for some barbecue steak. While I was filming this video, I was also in a Discord call with some of my fans. And I asked them if they wanted to be a part of the video, and they said yes. And I totally regret it. This is what happened. Hi. Hello, hello, hello YouTube. Hello. Hi. Hello, hello. Hi, hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. YouTube. Please. Yeah, I'm probably never gonna do that again. But if you guys want to talk to me, join my Discord in the link below. And you guys didn't have a chance to talk to me on voice call. But on day 302, I did some farming because I just never farm anymore. And I needed some vegetables because kids, you gotta eat your vegetables. You can't eat meat all the time. This series is turning into like an educational video. <laughs> Welcome to class, kids. I, I don't even know why I said that. It's so embarrassing. And and I don't even want to cut it out. So there you guys go. But anyways, for some reason, I was trying to breed my polar bears and I don't think it's possible. So I moved on and day 303, I decided to finally make or extend my swimming pool because I knew I was going to fall off into these one day because I'm just jumping around like a monkey. So I made my safe way down all the way to the bottom and I started making the floor design and extending the pool. I finally finished and breaking the middle wall that separates the new pool and the old pool was so difficult. Just doing it all in water and it was just so annoying. Man, the first word problems we have. Can't break a wall in Minecraft. But anyways, the turtles quickly swam to their new area and it seemed like they really enjoyed their new extended bathtub. And you know me, I just had to make my cows make some more love because I'm a hungry man, all right? I have a lot. I eat a lot of steak a day, okay? Just don't, don't make fun of me, okay? But looking into the cows, it was pretty lonely not seeing my girlfriend's sister in there. Take a look at what I made for my girlfriend versus what I made for my girlfriend's sister. <laughs> one is an amazing cow statue and one is a trash can. I also went down to check on my iron golem farm and I had so much iron. Who remembers when I only had like 22 pieces of iron ingots and like three iron nuggets. I was dirt poor. I literally couldn't even afford like a McDonald's hash brown but now I'm just balling in iron. Like look how much iron blocks I made. Yep, yeah, I'm just the Elon Musk of Minecraft guys. The only difference is he's 
smart and uh, I'm just I'm just a brick. I don't know. <laughs> but does anyone remember the old iron farms we had to make? We needed like five double chested doors. It was actual pain. But on day 312, I started designing my stone generator. And while I was building the stone generator and it turned nighttime, I started getting attacked by these flying dinosaurs once again. And they were hiding from me this time. I had no idea where they were and they're trying to sneak up on me. But luckily, I'm just Hawkeye and I killed them all. But if Hawkeye died, does that mean I'm gonna die? Oh no, this is not good. I'm sorry for any spoilers, by the way. I'm sure a lot of you guys got that Avengers reference. But I continue building and I made these windows and I thought it looked pretty cool. I thought it was a pretty nice way to hide some light in the building. So there's just not torches everywhere and I don't know. Not the best, but it works. Anyways, once I was finished with that, I wanted to build the same exact design on the other side for my wood generator. And I got attacked by more creepers, and I have no idea where they're spawning because I literally have torches everywhere. So they're just spawning out of thin air or something. As I was working on the other side, I got attacked by more mobs. Where are they coming from? There's torches everywhere. Somebody please explain. On day 318, I finished the platform and I needed some cobblestone to make some pistons because automatic wood farms take a lot of pistons. So, so that's what I did on day 318. I made a whole bunch of pistons. I also gathered all the other resources I needed and I started working on the wood farm. Also, if you guys want a tutorial on how I make these wood farms or the stone generator, please subscribe to my second channel and comment down below that you want a tutorial. And I'll for sure make a tutorial for you guys on my second channel. But anyways, I just realized observers exist. I've still been using like manual observers with like redstone and redstone torches because i still live in like 2013 so once a tree grows these observers will detect the new block the new log that spawns the observer will then activate all the redstone which will activate the pistons and push the logs to the side and after a lot of trial and error i finally got it working i also wanted to take the tree farm one step further and i wanted to make an automatic bone meal dispenser type thingy majiggy that bones meals the thingy and they make makes it grow and uh, well bam we got a tree i don't know i'm sure nobody even understood what i just said but basically i just want a dispenser to bone me on my trees so my fat ass doesn't need to do it you know how hard it is for me to hold down my right click button to simply use bone meal you guys can't expect that much from me guys and guess what more creepers man they're everywhere i don't know where they're coming from man i swear one of you guys is just invisible on my island spawning with creeper eggs or something i swear but anyways i finally completed all the redstone and i gave it a test and it was working just how i thought it was i surprisingly didn't make that many mistakes making this thing so now since the first part was working now i have to work on the biggest part the big piston area that will push all the logs to where i can mine them so i started putting all the pistons down i put down all the redstone i gave it a test and it was working let's go guys i then tried shooting this creeper and accidentally hit my mushroom cow and it was raw meat so i waited a little bit i checked and it actually cooked you guys should try it out it actually cooked the meat in the item frame that is pretty poggers i can't believe i just said that oh my god what is minecraft doing to me i I then put some furnaces down just so the logs can't push it out too far and now it was all complete now i all had to do was grab some bones make it into bone meal and throw it into the dispenser now i had to give it the test once the tree grew everything worked out perfect the pistons were pushing the log just how i wanted it to and now we have a fully functional automatic tree farm once i had a big enough area of wood i turned on haste 2 on my beacon and i started grinding my wood Once I was done grinding my wood and I cleaned up the entire area, if you know what I mean, I put some torches everywhere to make sure no creepers spawn. Then I spent the next five days designing the automatic tree farm just like the stone generator. After about five days, I finally completed it. And I think it looks pretty awesome. I'm not the best builder in the world. I literally just copied the same design that I had on the stone generator side. But hey, it's the best I can do. I made some more of those window light looking things I made before. And I started working on the ceiling. And this was probably the hardest part of the build. Because like, how do you make a ceiling? It's impossible to make a ceiling look good. I had no idea what I was doing. I was just placing blocks everywhere. But then I had the light bulb spark in my head. You know, in the cartoons where like the light bulb above their head just like bing you know like it lights up and like you know it's like an idea okay never mind my genius elon musk intuitive revolutionary design was to use scaffolding so that's what i did no i'm just kidding i had to add leaves baby you can't forget leaves leaves make everything look 46 times better i'm not sure why i chose 46 but hey i'm not wrong if you guys are watching my videos and you guys aren't using leaves what are you doing watching add some leaves to your house it'll make it look 40 times better trust me my building is already poo but if you add leaves everyone just thinks you're a god you know so 
just just do it and try it out but anyways i finally finished and i added some skylights or some glass on the ceiling i also threw in some oak planks to accent the darkish spruce planks and i added leaves everywhere and i think it looks way better than the stone brick ceiling i had earlier let me know what you guys think in the comments and on day 337 i got really lazy and i just ran around my entire island because i had nothing to do and i was so bored but i finally built up some motivation to do something so i wanted to get another beacon and place it right here so i got prepared i grabbed all the blocks i needed i grabbed a totem of undying and i was ready to jump into the end but I quickly realized I need to go to the nether for the wither skeletons. Yeah, I know guys, my brain is a raisin. Once I jumped into the nether, I found a donkey just chilling in the nether. I tried pushing him back in, but he did not want to leave the nether. So I just let him be. I then spotted my girlfriend's sister riding my girlfriend's back. So I quickly ran back to the overworld, back on my island. I grabbed a saddle and the fishing rod and I wanted to ride them. That did not sound right. But anyways, I built to the striders and I put the saddle on his back and I tried riding him, but I didn't realize you can't can't go anywhere so i was stuck on them and i was gonna lose my saddle so i quickly jumped off grabbed some ender pearls and ender pearl back on the land i thought i was gonna die right there so i tried getting my saddle back by killing the strider and it burned in the lava i was pissed so i killed the other strider if one dies they both have to die i then started exploring to find another nether fortress and i mined some bones just because i needed it for my tree farm there were also ghasts everywhere so i started killing them for some gas tears because i really wanted to respawn the ender dragon and i had a fun challenge to kill the ender dragon so stay tuned for that i just decided to kill the ender dragon with no armor and it was a big pain so you guys can watch me struggle later on but i collected all the gas tears and i also found another fortress that was built into the ground so i dove into the nether fortress and with my looting three sword i was hoping to get some witherhead skulls very soon the first skull took me forever to get but i finally got them the second skull didn't take as long and the third skull was just a pain man but as i was killing wither skeletons i killed one and knocked him into the edge and and as I looked down to the edge, another skeleton tried sneaking up on me and almost knocked me into the lava. That would have been terrible. And I got my third skull. Imagine dying with three skulls in lava. That actually would have been depression. But anyways, I was just jumping down because I was way too lazy to make a safe way down. I found this strider. I jumped onto this little island. I put a saddle on him and I was ready to go back home. I also had a whole squad of striders. They see me rolling. They hate. I, no, that's, oh, that's copyrighted. This video is demonetized now. I then threw enterprise and i landed in the smallest crack like what is that luck i also noticed that there was a complete war zone and homicide by my nether portal and a wounded iron golem <laughs> you know bro. once i got back on my island this donkey finally made it home back on my island i punched him and he didn't like it and he wanted out he went right back into the nether portal but i did get the three wither skeleton heads i was looking for which was awesome and i took all the bone meal and threw it back into the dispenser oh yeah unlimited wood baby this is laziness time is 40 what is up with me in 40 today but anyways i wanted to respawn the ender dragon for a fun little challenge so i jumped back into the end and i went to kill a lot of endermen i only needed three ender pearls to make some eye of ender but i had too much fun killing these long skinny endermen and i came back with like four stacks i then took the ender pearls and turned them into eye of ender i grabbed the gas tears and i made myself some end crystals and this was my first time ever making end crystals i was so tempted to just place it on my island because it looks so cool but i'm pretty sure it needs to be on bedrock i then stripped down naked i put away all my tools and i grabbed a diamond and made a diamond hoe yeah you probably know where this is going right now without armor and without any tools and only with a diamond hoe i jumped into the end with my end crystals i placed them down and i was not so ready to fight the inner dragon but i was gonna anyways this is probably gonna go really really bad no armor no sword and no bow with only a diamond hoe two water buckets and a dream once the inner dragon spawned i realized there's no way for me to destroy these end crystals i don't have any blocks to get up and i don't have a bow so the only thing i could have done was make a water elevator up and punch it with my fist yeah, I didn't really think this through. And some of these pillars were so high, it took me at least like three minutes to get all the way up to the pillars. The dragon then shot his stanky breath at me and I thought he missed, but he luckily hit the bedrock and I had to jump to safety so I don't suffocate in his stanky dragon breath. And I'm not gonna lie, this was pretty fun. Just going all the way up and just practicing my water buckets. It was some pretty good practice. I then punched this crystal and left me with half a heart, but luckily I caught myself in the water and I quickly ate to heal up. And the ender dragon was probably super confused because all he sees is a monkey climbing up his pillars and breaking these crystals super super slowly 
Well, that took a while, but I finally destroyed all the crystals. It took me so long, and I made the leap of faith. I started hitting the inner dragon with my diamond hoe, and he launched me to the moon. But luckily, I caught myself with the water, and I honestly thought I wouldn't have. Thank God I did. And I was waiting for so long, but this inner dragon would not come down. So I patiently waited, and even after like five minutes, he just kept flying around. So I literally went AFK for a bit. And this was literally water clutch or MLG water bucket practice. Like, I'm literally, he's just launching me, and I'm just using my water bucket. Yeah, the challenge didn't work out as I planned it to. I thought it would be sick, and so funny just watching me kill the ender dragon with the diamond hoe but it wasn't working and i was getting so sick of it i threw away my hoe and two water buckets and i leaped into the void i couldn't deal with the stress and the headache anymore the dragon just kept flying around and when he did come down he kept launching me into the air and i couldn't even hit him so this time i still had no armor but i grabbed all the bows i could and some water buckets and i was ready to go back into battle yeah just just give him a minute he's just doing his thing to be patient <laughs> once the dragon was done moaning and start flying around i start shooting him with some arrows but he went afk again and he started moaning again after but a million shots five pills of advil for my headache and just waiting for him i finally got the last shot on the enemy dragon and i killed him that was the most painful thing i've ever done in my life i recommend you guys not to respawn the ender dragon it was probably my fault though for not bringing any armor or bringing any tools or weapons but that was the challenge i then tried to distract myself from all the stress and i tried taking my dog away from these mobs but for some reason he kept trying to attack them and i was so scared he was gonna die so i sat him down and pushed him away and i gave him a friendly tap what a stupid dog I then made my cows make some more love, like for the sixth time this episode. And it's tradition around here for every episode to make the polar bears dance. But I was having too much fun and the polar bears killed me through the fence. On day 360, I had literally no idea what to do. So I decided to hold this dragon head and it looked like I was Thanos. So I felt pretty cool being Minecraft Thanos. The only difference is I'm cool and Thanos isn't. And one of my fans told me that if you put redstone to the dragon head, it makes its mouth move. So I took down my pants and yeah, demonetized. And if you couldn't tell, I'm slowly losing my voice, but I'm going to keep pushing through these voiceovers. But now I was ready to destroy my old mob farm and make a new one. One. Don't you guys hate creepers, man? Holy. I just wanted to get some cool shots for you guys for the video. And once I got into the mob farm, I killed all the mobs around. I put down a whole bunch of torches to light up the area so no mobs spawn. And it's time to destroy the old mob farm. That took a while, but I destroyed the mob farm and I was left with like nine stacks of wood. I didn't realize how much wood it takes. And this place looks so empty without the mob farm being there. And on day 365, I was in my fields and I was looking up into the stars because it looks really good in this texture pack. And I found my girlfriend, the size of a planet. On day 366 to 367, I needed to grind a whole bunch of stone to start making this new and improved mob farm. And I waited for the stone to come back. After mining this entire stone area, two times I was left with about a whole inventory of stone, so I turned that on to stone bricks, and that will be plenty to start expanding my island and making a brand new area. I then made a brand new shulker box that was red, so we had some Christmas colors. I made a whole bunch of spruce slabs, and I started expanding the island a little bit. And you know me, I have to add leaves everywhere, because it's just a little nice touch of green. And I also made this ginormous circle. And you know who else makes circles? My YouTuber idol, Wadzi. And by the way, if you guys want to see a one block hardcore let's play series, please let me know in the comments. I really want to know what you guys think. And I'm honestly really scared to upload something that's not 100 days. So if you guys support me and would watch any of my videos, no matter what it is, please like the video and let me know in the comments so I know who the real fans are. To all the real fans that commented, I love you guys so much. And I'll try my best to give you guys a heart. But anyways, I finally finished filling up the circle and I was left with five spruce slabs. How lucky is that? And now that I have an entire area, it's time to start making a brand new and improved mob farm. 
I then made some spruce gates, put it in the middle so the water can't go down the hole, and this is where all the mobs would fall down and die. And dealing with all this water in a circle area was so hard. And I got attacked by phantoms again, and I literally could not hit a single shot on him. I just kept missing everything. Now that is new for me. And I continued making the mob farm. And by the way, the next upload after this video won't be a 100 days video. It'll be something different on Minecraft Survival. I've been working really hard on it, and I hope you guys enjoy it next week once i started making the ceiling i was trying to speed bridge and i almost fell what do i mean almost i did fall but i landed with three hearts somehow when i was like at least 100 blocks up and i fell again i just missed the water on this little ledge and i landed on the floor all the way at the bottom with only two hearts I made it so much worse. I then went all the way back up and continued making the brand new mob farm. I'm sure you guys have seen this mob farm on the internet before, but like, let me tell you, this mob farm is actually insane. Look how many mobs are falling from the sky. If only the mobs falling from the sky was like meatballs and pizza and chicken wings and fried chicken and, and burgers. And I'm hungry. Could someone please send me food? I'm starving. I'm so hungry that rotten flesh is looking pretty juicy. But anyways, this is what it looks like when it was all complete. And like, look at the mob just raining down. Also, watching them crowd in the middle and getting stuck and slowly sinking and falling through the hole is pretty satisfying. And this is what the mob farm looks like from the distance. Oh yeah, let's go guys. Chocolate rain. Please tell me somebody is old enough to know that reference. Please tell me in the comments. Because that song came out in 2007, so please, there has to be one person anyways on day 390 i was trying to shoot these mobs that were falling from the sky and it's a lot harder than it looks i hit a couple but i was missing a ton it's really hard to predict where to aim but now my floor is completely filled with all the mobs guts i don't know what the forecast is like where you live but over here it's hailing mobs i went to go pick up the mob loot and my inventory was completely filled with even more mob loot on the ground i'm gonna have to do something about this because there's just so much loot on the ground and i don't even know what i'm gonna do with all this stuff but the best thing to do is probably to start making a auto sorter to sort out all of this mob loot into chests also if you guys made it here and you guys are listening to this please comment down below right now cookie army so i know who the real and og fans are so everybody who comments that is getting a heart and i might start doing this for every video so whoever does watch to the end will have a higher chance of getting a heart for me but anyways i started making some chests and made a whole bunch of hoppers and i started working on the auto sorter and maybe I'm in my feels today, but I just want to say thank you guys all so much for supporting me and changing my life. Everybody who's watching and everybody who comments or likes or subscribes, you guys have made me smile every single day. So I just want to thank you guys for that. But enough of that. It's time to start working on something else. So once the mob farm was complete, it's time to start destroying the farm. I'm just slowly destroying all of my old stuff and replacing it with something new. And at this point, I can't even recognize what my island used to look like on day 100. Do you guys remember what it used to look like? Look at it now. It reminds me of the Hunger Games when the tributes are riding down the horses into the capital before the game start or something like that. Let me know if you guys understand that reference because maybe I'm just the only one. But before the video ends, I wanted to change the memorial for my girlfriend's sister and make it something more respectful and maybe just a little better looking. So I put down a composter, I put down a staircase and I've covered it with a whole bunch of trap doors and it looked just like a trash can. To be honest with you, it's not that bad looking. I'm pretty impressed with myself. This is probably the only time I actually liked something I built. And surprisingly, it was a trash can and not like a castle or something. It would look better with leaves, I'll be honest. But I grabbed all of the meat and the sign and I put it on the trash can. Now this was a way better and way cleaner memorial. Rest in peace, my girlfriend's sister. And I also went AFK and my dog was just sniffing my butt. I must have forgotten to wipe or something because like he it seemed like he was enjoying himself. That's kind of weird now. I'll probably just stop talking. On day 399, the sun was slowly rising and I had one last thing to do. I grabbed the soul sand. I grabbed three of my wither skeleton heads and I ran to the circle. And this was the main purpose of why I built this entire circle. I quickly built the wither skeleton. The sun was rising and I spawned him in and it was time to fight the wither on the next episode on day 500 don't you guys love cliffhangers I'm sorry guys but I had to do it anyways thank you guys so much for watching I would greatly appreciate it if you guys come and watch my next video that won't be a day 100 video please subscribe like the video comment down below and I'll see you guys on the next video